Hey there, in this short video recording, I will briefly show you how two copy more instances can communicate with each other. So first of all, I'm gonna enter this automotive project where I already have some uh, information available. So I'm gonna go to the trackers and let me show you just real quick that I have a customer requirement specifications ready uh, with, with some items included. And also there are some system requirements that have been derived from my customer requirements. So just to show you that, here I open up uh, this tracker, you can see the items, I can browse them through, and I can then visualize the traceability of these items. So if I first visualize the customer requirements, I will show you also the system requirement specifications, I show the dependencies, and here you can see this list. What I would like to do here is to forward this information to another CodeBeamer instance uh, into one specific project and let the people uh, operating in that, on that environment to make some changes and then, then import it back into CodeBeamer into this specific project, into this Intelligence Automotive demo project. So the way I can do that is that I need to go to the project admin page and I need to export this information to a uh, uh, file. I need to click on that. I select what information of my project I would like to export into this format. So I select first the custom requirement specifications, and I also would like to uh, export all the related system requirements that are referring to my custom requirement through the subject field, and include the subject field that is basically storing the traceability between the customer and the system requirements. I'm gonna ignore all the other fields. If, you, if it's needed, you can also save this configuration as a JSON file, and you can load that for any future use of this uh, export. Right now, I'm just going to hit on save. Now you can see I just downloaded the record file. And the scenario is the following, that basically, I'm just going to create a new CodeBeamer project, and I will show you how you can communicate uh, through the record files uh, between uh, CodeBeamer projects. So I'm going to click on the project here, create a new project. And effectively, this is the step. Whenever you send this record file to your supplier, uh, this supplier will import this record file as a new project. And your, uh, and your supplier will be able to work on this project uh, by, its, uh, by, by, by itself. Um, so now I just uploaded this file. I click on next. And in the next page, basically, I specify its new project name. So let's uh, name it as a CodeBeamer uh, Rakif demo project. Then if I further scroll down, here you can see that uh, Basically, what are the checkers that will get created in this project with what attributes? This is the same also available for the system requirement. Here you can also specify the field mapping. And if I further scroll down there, you can see the relations. So for the subject field, I would like to map that. That, that should be a reference field between my requirements and that should be populated in the subject field. That is fine. And with the setting, uh, again, if you want, you can save that and you can reuse this configuration. If I proceed and hit next, I okay, finish this uh, project creation. Now within this project, if I click onto the trackers, this is where you will see that currently I have these two trackers for the requirements. Um, I can also open up these uh, custom requirements. All of these items are right now uh, in status new. So you can see that uh, I can start at work. Uh, basically, if I also click onto the attributes, now you can see on the right hand side some attributes. And also see here that the foreign status uh, of this item in the original project is in status draft. Um, what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna change some attributes here in the steering angle sensor uh, 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 item. So I'm gonna change its business value. I'm gonna change the type from functional to non-functional just to represent some changes here in this, uh, in this project on the supplier side. Uh, I can save it. I can also change this description. So if I click onto it, I can also make a change here. I save it. And I can also navigate now to the, uh, to the other items. And the way I can do that, uh, basically I could also select here the system requirements, but I also would like to show you the traceability between the items that, that we also exported and then imported that into this project. Therefore, I click onto this traceability browser. If I click onto that, now I visualize this is the exact same way as I showed you earlier. I visualize the customer and the system requirements. I hit show the dependencies, and this is the way you can see that. So now we changed 
uh, the steering angle sensor requirement. Let's say I also would like to change this weight transfer system requirement. I'm going to click on to that right now. I'm going to hit on uh, the edit button and I can change its attribute like I can specify a business value. I again specify a type, a complexity, and I simply save it. And let's say I can also change the status. So let's say to show that I already started the implementation process. And now I would like to uh, see these changes reflected in the original document in the original product, pro project. Uh, and therefore I need to go again and export this to a recipe file. So I'm going to click onto this admin page. I'm going to export this uh, to a recipe uh, uh, file, but this is here. I can select that I would like to import it back to the original project, back to the uh, uh, original Codebeamer project. Here, the destination is back to the origin by default. Now you can see here that all the fields and everything will get uh, 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 added to this configuration. So I basically have nothing else to do, just to download this file. Now you said, see that here, and I need to return to my original project. So what I'm gonna do, I click on my project browser, and I go back to my original uh, Intel's automotive demo project. I open this up, I click again to this admin page, and I need to import this file uh, into, code, uh, into my project right now. So I click on here, I upload this uh, Recky Front Trip document. Here I will see exactly how this information is going to get imported. Uh, I can also specify, I need to specify again that the subject field should be mapped to the requirements uh, subject field. So this is a one-time action because you can, uh, you can also save this configuration. Uh, it is fine. I'm going to hit and save again or OK. I proceed with the import. And upon the import, uh, before it's importing the information, Codebeamer itself created a baseline. And in the baseline, this will store the differences. So what we're going to see here effectively, if I click on three trackers, of course, as, as this was the first time action, uh, this will create one single field for the foreign, uh, foreign status. So I will see for every single item that, uh, for example, if I go to these items, all, the, uh, all eight items have been modified because it has added this foreign uh, status of that item uh, coming from the different project. But now I also, if I click on the steering angle sensor, if you remember, that's the one that we changed. I click on to that, and now you can see the side-by-side -side comparison that which are the changes that are coming from the other Codebeamer instance. And here you can also see my change in the textual description highlighted. If I now switch and check out uh, the system requirements as well, I will see this item change as well. So I changed this uh, wheel transfer, weight transfer uh, requirement. I click on to that, and now you can see that basically the status has been changed, uh, the complexity type and the business value, uh, and all this information is being merged into Codebeamer. And what I can do as well, that uh, once I return back to my items, I can also click on to my custom requirement specifications, and I will also see this change reflected here in the steering angle sensor requirement, so this is where you can see the change. Thanks for watching.